Okay, whereas a delegation of students from ATA Legacy Martial Arts traveled to the ATA World Championships from June 27th to July 3rd, and whereas 25 individuals from ATA Legacy Martial Arts competed against martial arts martial artists from around the world, and whereas ATA Legacy Martial Art competitors won eight world champion titles in traditional and creative forms, weapons, sparring, and combat, combat weapons sparring competitions. And whereas Lori and Nick Petullo won a title in both traditional forms and traditional weapons, and Stephanie Petullo won a title in creative forms. And whereas Dylan Case won a title in combat weapon sparring, Veronica Lee won a title in traditional weapons, and Frank McLaughlin won a title in traditional sparring. And whereas ATA Legacy Martial Arts owner George Lee was inducted as a master instructor after 25 years of training in the Songham style of Taekwondo. Now therefore be it proclaimed, that we, the mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee, do hereby recognize and extend our sincere congratulations to Master George Lee and all the students who competed at the World Championships from ATA Legacy Martial Arts, and be it further proclaimed that we, the mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee, further commend ATA Legacy Martial Arts for the honor that they have brought to themselves and their community through their many achievements, and we wish them con continued success in all of their future endeavors. I would just like to thank the mayor and the entire Township Council um, just for uh, creating an opportunity for an individual like me to um, establish an organization in the community. If Hillsborough community wasn't such an exceptional uh, township, you know, we wouldn't have the opportunity to work with such exceptional individuals um, and just achieve all the, all the goals that we've been able to reach. So, you know, thank you all. Thank you to all the families um, for, your, for your training and your continued support. And uh, thank you to all the community for all of your support. Thank you, sir. I had the opportunity to, to uh, participate in the uh, in the uh, opening event at the at the uh, championships, and it was really a, uh, really an incredible day. Thank you very much for uh, my honorary black belt, which I uh, have proudly uh, hanging it in my home. Uh, but more importantly, congratulations, uh, uh, Master Lee became a master that day, um, and uh, was uh, it was really a, a tremendous ceremony to be a part of. So congratulations, and thank you for allowing me to participate in that. And congratulations to all of you for your, uh, for your wins. Congratulations. Thank you, Okay, we have an Eagle Scout uh, presentation for Chris Machala. Come on, come on, come on Chris. Whereas Christopher Machala, a member of Boy Scout Troop 89 and a sophomore at Hillsborough High School, has recently earned the status of Eagle Scout. And whereas we, the Hillsborough Township Committee, recognize the many hours Christopher devoted to attaining the status of Eagle Scout, working with diligence and making sacrifices in order to achieve this highly coveted position. And whereas Christopher's project consisted of purchasing, assembling, and installing three military benches and a POW MIA monument in Hillsborough's Garden of Honor. And whereas Hillsborough raised, <laughs> Christopher raised over $6,300 selling patriotic chocolate lollipops and working side by side with the Hillsborough Township, the Hillsborough Rotary Club, the Hillsborough Memorial VFW Post 8371, the Military Order of the Purple Heart Chapter 27, Mary Mother of God Church, and the citizens of Hillsborough to solicit funds for his project. And whereas Christopher successfully completed the project in time for the 2016 Memorial Day Commemoration Program to pay tribute to our lost veterans. Now therefore be proclaimed that we, the mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee, do hereby recognize and extend our sincere congratulations to Christopher Machala for having achieved the status of Eagle Scout, an honor for both him and for those who have guided him with best wishes for a bright future. 
and be it further proclaimed that we, the mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee, thank all of the members of Boy Scouts of America, both past and present, for their continued dedication and support within our community. Christopher, congratulations. I just want to thank the uh, mayor and the township committee for all their help and guidance during my project. I wouldn't have been able to do it without them. If you haven't seen, uh, as noted, it was available for our Memorial Day commemoration ceremony uh, that we had uh, after the parade on uh, uh, Memorial Day weekend, right out at our Garden of Honor. You see the benches out there, uh, as well as our POW MIA monument, which is right across from our Purple Heart monument. Uh, it's really uh, added a tremendous amount to our Garden of Honor, and we thank you very much for thinking of the township, and more importantly, thinking of the veterans. Thank you. And we have a very special uh, proclamation this evening. Uh, I'd like to call up Betty York, uh, longtime employee here in, in the uh, police department. Whereas Betty York, Record Secretary with the Hillsborough Township Police Department, is retiring after 37 years of dedicated service. And whereas Betty began her full-time career as Secretary on May 14, 1979 for the Hillsborough Township Police Department, which was then located on East Mountain Road. And whereas in 1990, when police headquarters was moved from East Mountain Road to its current location, Betty was assigned to the Records Bureau. And whereas Betty has remained the Secretary in the Records Bureau until her current retirement. And whereas Betty has also had the responsibility of overseeing civilian volunteers in the Records Department. And whereas Betty has worked under five chiefs during her career, Chief Donald Douches, Chief Henry Genzel, Chief Robert Gasway, Chief Paul Kaminsky, and our current Chief Darren Powell. And whereas Betty received recognition from various citizens for her help in obtaining records. And whereas Betty received a letter of appreciation from Chief Kaminsky for her help during Hurricane Irene in 2011. And whereas Betty has served the Township of Hillsborough and its residents with passion and selflessness throughout her career, and now therefore be it proclaimed that we, the Mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee, hereby express our gratitude for all the hard work and dedication of Betty York for the community of Hillsborough, and be it further proclaimed that we, the Mayor and the Township Committee, along with our numerous co-workers and the citizens of Hillsborough Township, Thank Betty for her valuable contribution to Hillsborough Township, and we wish you well in your future endeavors and your retirement. Betty, congratulations. Thank you so much for 37 years. Um, I hope they were all good years. <laughs> but um, that's, uh, we thank you very much. That's a, that's a long time to be a, a public servant. Uh, it's very much appreciated, and we wish you all the best in your retirement. Boy, did I do a lot of things? <laughs> Sounds like I did, anyway. Uh, thank you all for coming out and for everybody here. And uh, I have to say that all the years I worked, a lot of guys. <laughs> We've had some moments. <laughs> but basically, it's been great. Thanks. I would just like to thank Betty for her 37 years of service, not only just her 37 years of service, but exemplary service. About eight years ago, I was assigned as a supervisor of um, the administrative division, which oversees the Records Bureau. And it wasn't until then where I got to see just how much work she did and just how important she was to the organization. She was an exemplary representative of our agency and of the township. And uh, everybody, her family should be very proud of her, um, of what a job she did for us and what she did for the township. She's going to be um, very hard to uh, replace. She, some big shoes to fill, whoever uh, takes her spot one day. Thank you very much, Benny. Thank you. I want to make sure I get
Member Shutt? Here. Commander McCauley? Here. Commander Thompson? Here. Deputy Mayor Sirachi? Mayor Delcor? Here. Administrator Ferrara? Attorney Willard? Here. Please join me in a salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be advised that in accordance with Section 5 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975, that notice of this meeting was made by the posting on the bulletin board at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex and notifying the officially designated newspapers that this meeting would take place on September 27, 2016 at 7.30 p.m. First on our agenda is uh, approval of minutes. We have the approval of the April 12, 2016 Executive Session meeting minutes. Can I have a motion uh, to approve those minutes? So moved, Mayor. Second. Roll call, please. Commander Burchette? Here. Commander I mean, McCauley? Yes. yes. Commander Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. And now we have approval of the May 10, 2016 Executive Session minutes. So Come motion. Move. I'll second that. Uh, roll call, please. Committee Member Rochette? Yes. Committee Member McCauley? Yes. Um, I, believe I don't think you're eligible. Oh, wouldn't. Wait, hold on. What date around the 10th? Okay, abstain. Thought it was out that day. Committee Member Thompson? Abstain. And Mayor Delcor? Yes. And we have the approval of the May 24th, 2016 executive session minutes. Right. Roll call. Uh, motion, please. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Commander Burchette? Yes. Commander McCauley? Yes. Commander Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? And finally, the approval of the June 20, yeah, yes, first. Approval of the June 28, 2016 executive session meeting minutes. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Commander Burchette? Yes. Commander McCauley? Yes. Commander Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. Okay, we'll move to reports from committee liaisons. First up, committee member Burchette. Thank you, Mayor. From the Engineering Department, uh, we have a traffic advisory. Beginning Monday, October 3rd, the section of Wurtsville Road between Long Hill and Montgomery will be closed for approximately two months. Uh, detour signs will be posted along the, with variable message boards assisting motorists with the detour. 
uh, residents will be able to access Wurtsville Road from the Montgomery Road side. So you have to come in the other way. So please allow for extra time for travel. Um, tomorrow is uh, the EBDC meeting at Royce Brook. It's the 2016 Fall Social. Again, tomorrow, Wednesday the 28th at Royce Brook Golf Course. Online registration is required. There's no payment at the door. And um, you can go to the uh, Hillsboro HBA website to register if you would like to join. Um, from the Rotary Club of Hillsboro, the Veterans and Active Military Appreciation Day is fast approaching. Multiple clubs in the Rotary District have come together to host a special event, which will be held Saturday, October 8th, from 1 to 5 at the Central Jersey Airport in Hillsboro. Uh, active and former military and their families, along with the general public, are invited. I happen to know we just got approval for a bunch of amazing flyovers. We're going to have uh, the military has already told us we have warthogs flying over. We've, we may have a couple of bombers coming over, and uh, so it should be a pretty neat day. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Commissioner McCauley. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everybody. Just a few notes from our chief of police in the back of the room. Wanted me to make a few notes. Um, they would like to remind all residents, if you see something, say something. Suspicious activity and any observed behavior that could indicate terrorism or a terrorism-related crime. Together, we can keep our community safe. We have a very safe community here in several of the wards. Um, it's due to mostly people paying attention to what's happening out there and making sure that uh, anything suspicious is reported to the police department. You can say who you are, what you saw, when, where, why it was suspicious. Furthermore, there is a free app they're offering now by iTunes and Google Play. It's called the Safe NJ app. It enables New Jersey residents and surrounding states to instantly report suspicious activity from a smartphone or your mobile device, which is sent directly to the counterterrorism watch personnel. Reminder also that the new court hours starting Monday, October 3rd, we have a shared municipal court here from Montgomery, Manville, Hillsborough. New hours will include Tuesday daytime session in addition to the existing Monday evening session. The court session will be as follows. Monday sessions will remain the same. 3.30 p.m. are DUI pretrials. 5 o'clock are contested cases. And Tuesday schedule is as follows. 10 a.m. Manville first appearance. 10.30 Montgomery first appearances. 11 a.m. is Hillsborough first appearances. And 12 p.m. is contested cases. So there are new hours. They will be on the website if anybody needs those hours. Also, CERT training is hosted by the Somerset County Office of Emergency Management starting Tuesday, October 4th. Seating is limited to the first 30 reg residents. Registration forms are due by Friday the 30th. The classes will be held at the County Emergency Services Training uh, Services Training Academy located at 402 Roycefield Road. It will be through the hours um, of October the 4th, 6th, 11th, 13th, 18th, and 20th from 7 to 10 p.m. and Saturday, October 15th and 22nd from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The CERT program is free for county residents and all modules who will receive a CERT, um, who complete the module will receive a CERT certification of completion as well. Also, I just wanted to say I had a great time at our third Senior Olympic last week uh, with the mayor joining um, as well and a whole bunch of guests. And um, I wanted to say thank you to the Rector Department of Social Services for putting on such a great opportunity for our seniors to show how active they can be. Thanks to the chief in the back and uh, Bob Wagner, who's the department head of REC, to uh, hand out the medals at the end of the day. It was really fun, and uh, the weather held out, which was nice as well. So I just wanted to say it was a great time. And that's it for me this evening, Mayor. Thank you. Commitment Thompson. Thank you, Mayor. Just a couple things for me this evening. First, the Township's Children's Halloween Party set for Thursday, October 27th, from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. Pre-registration is required. The cost to participate is $5 per child, which includes a hayride, to pick a pumpkin, to visit the haunted house, and a goodie bag. To register, please visit the Parks and Recreation website, which can be reached through hillsborough-nj.org. Also, the Recreation Department will host the second annual Halloween party, which will be held on Saturday, October 29th. Registration is at 8.30 um, a.m., which will be followed by the parade and costume contest. The dog park is a leash-free area for dogs over the age of six months, and dogs must be spayed or neutered and cannot show any signs of aggression to enter the dog park. And last but not least, from a reminder from the health department that the flu vaccination clinic will be held on Thursday, October 6th from 3 to 6.30 p.m. 
All the details uh, are, will be in the Friday e-news, and you can also visit again on our website at hillsborough nj.org. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Um, as uh, Camille McCauley noted, we did have our Senior Olympics last week. Uh, in addition to the township employees that uh, participated, our, our recreation, senior uh, social services, and uh, we had police support there. I also wanted to thank Joanna Clark Diggs, four-time Olympian, uh, who has always been a great friend to Hillsborough, and she was uh, participated in the event, came and uh, was active with the seniors. Um, she actually participated in a couple of races, I believe. I don't think everybody caught her, but uh, she, she beat was, me in golf, though. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, it was we greatly appreciate her coming and uh, and sharing her time with the uh, with the seniors. Uh, also, last Tuesday, uh, Somerset County has their Spirit of Somerset Awards across a number of categories, but really a a series of awards to uh, to display. Good community spirit across a number of different uh, categories, and as always, Hillsborough was well represented in the uh, in the winners. Uh, we had four uh, groups and people being recognized uh, for different events within the uh, Spirit of Somerset Awards. Kevin Murphy and our Culture and Arts Committee. Uh, we had the Hillsborough YMCA for their Senior Exercise Program. Uh, Kath, our own Kathy Farber here uh, for her work with social services and John Biddle, our Mr. Fix-It Handyman program uh, for, for volunteerism. So thank you to uh, all those that uh, volunteer and, and do show the spirit of Somerset. And uh, I appreciate and thank uh, the county uh, for having the ceremony and to the, all those recipients who won all, all very deserving. And we thank them for representing Hillsborough in such a positive way. Uh, as I noted at our last meeting, um, we are interested in anyone that uh, has uh, an interest in photography, uh, anyone, uh, township photographers, if you have any scenery photos that you'd like to submit for consideration to our 2017 town calendar, uh, individuals that are interested in submitting photographs uh, can email their high resolution image uh, to Ms. Borak, the township clerk at pborak at hillsborough-nj.org. A photo release will need to accompany uh, the pictures and there is no guarantee, of course, that the photo will be used, but we certainly welcome anyone that would like to submit a uh, photo uh, for that. Uh, similar to the calendar we did this past year, um, it will be distributed to uh, all, all homes here in Hillsborough. Uh, there's no cost to the township or the, to the residents. It's effectively funded through the advertising in the calendar. Uh, advertising opportunities are also available and being handled directly through uh, the, uh, the organizer of the calendar that's called Town Planner. Please contact Jim O'Dowd at 973-650-2736 or Jim O'Dowd, J-I-M-O-D-O-W-D, at townplanner.com for more information if you'd like to uh, advertise in the calendar. Credit card grant applications are being accepted for nonprofit youth and senior groups to apply for grants up to $2,000 through the Hillsborough Affinity Reward Credit Card. At the last meeting, we did renew that program with Affinity. We're, we're very thankful to them uh, for their support of the community. Uh, use of the card uh, provides uh, funds back to the township that are used uh, to provide uh, tangible asset purchases for uh, nonprofit and youth groups here in town. So the deadline to submit the application is October 12th. Uh, that can be submitted to the administration office. And as always, anyone that would like to stay connected uh, with the events that are going on in town or uh, or uh, other uh, important news that comes out. We have our Friday e-newsletter. Uh, we have, of course, our Twitter feed, TV29, and our Hillsborough YouTube channel. Uh, showcase our meetings and Hillsborough The Good Life episodes. And, of course, we also have, uh, for our emergency-related uh, information, please subscribe to Nixle and our Honeywell, Honeywell Instant Alerting System. Uh, all of those can be accessed through the Township website. I believe we have a couple of uh, applications in the back for the e-newsletter if anyone would like to um, sign up for that. Uh, we're going to move on to our proclamations this evening. Uh, we do have a, several of them tonight. We'd ask that after you receive your proclamation, if you please have, your, have a seat uh, and wait till everyone has received their proclamation before, before you depart. We'll give you an opportunity after all the proclamations are done uh, if you would like to leave. I know everyone's dying to stay, um, but um, we'll give you that opportunity later. So first up, um, 
we have uh, some folks here recognizing October as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, please, please come on forward. October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is an annual campaign to increase awareness of this disease, encourage early detection, and support research to find a cure. And while we have seen an increase in mammography rates and a decline in death, deaths, there is still more we can do. Whereas National Breast Cancer Awareness Month remains dedicated to increasing public knowledge about the importance of early detection of breast cancer diagnosis and treatment, and whereas breast cancer remains the second leading cause of cancer deaths among women, and, and both men and women should be aware that age, genetics, and family history are factors that can contribute to the risk of developing this disease. And whereas the awareness campaign is encouraging individuals to help reduce their risk of breast cancer through regular self-exams, clinical breast exams, and mammograms, which are vital since treatments are most effective when breast cancer is detected early. And whereas the National Cancer Institute estimates in the United States more than 230,000 female and 2,300 male new cases of breast cancer will be diagnosed this year. And whereas Kathleen Sirioli, a two-time cancer survivor, along with Joanne Liskovitz, co-founders of Dance for the Cure, a nonprofit organization, have helped local families impacted by breast cancer with donations totaling over $425,000 to date at their annual fundraiser, Ribbon, Ribbons of Hope, to raise money to help individuals in need during their cancer journey. And whereas Dance for the Cure is, not for, is a not-for-profit organization committed to the prevention and cure of breast cancer through the celebration of dance, providing financial assistance to local women impacted by breast cancer. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that we, the Mayor and the Township Committee, do hereby recognize in the above, all of the above and declare October 2016 as National Breast Cancer Awareness Month and urge all women and their families to increase their knowledge about breast cancer and to join us to celebrate the successive successes and memorialize lost battles. I want to thank the township once again. Um, this has been several years that we've received this proclamation and we hope that we continue to educate and inform people. It really is an incredible fundraiser that they do each year. I had the opportunity to participate a couple of times, and uh, it's really amazing how much money you're able to raise. And the more I know it's an incredible amount of time to Thank you very much for your, for your efforts in bringing awareness and raising I think we have a few martial artists from ATA. Why don't you come on up? Yes, sir. To new business, uh, anyone here for? Um, oh, I'm sorry. A new business. We have no new business. Public comment on new business and matters not on the agenda. Uh, is there anyone here uh, for a matter that is not on tonight's agenda? Now's your time to come forward. 
Okay, seeing none, we'll move to introduction of new ordinances. Uh, ordinance 2016-20 is an ordinance repealing and replacing Chapter 172, Flood Damage Prevention of the Code of the Township of Hillsboro. Further consideration of this ordinance and a public hearing will be held on October the 25th, 2016. The Township must adopt the floodplain management ordinance that meets the National Flood Insurance Program requirements in order to main, remain eligible for flood insurance through the NFIP, which is the National Flood Insurance Program. Uh, the, there are uh, no significant changes from the existing uh, ordinance, uh, but we are making some minor adjustments to ensure we are in compliance. May I have a motion to introduce the ordinance? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Commander Brichette. Yes. Commander McCauley. Yes. Commander Thompson. Yes. Mayor Delcor. Yes. We'll move to considerations. Consideration number one is a resolution authorizing the hiring of St. Hubert's animal control officers to conduct a dog canvas at $20 per hour. We've had success with the implementation of the animal control officers conducting the canvas as a result of one individual moving out of state. This resolution fills that vacancy. Just a friendly reminder that all township dogs over the age of seven months need to be licensed through the township. And we recently passed an ordinance, uh, amending ordinance, which increased the penalty for not licensing your dog, as well as a late fee, which is $50. Please visit the finance office uh, to uh, receive a license for your dog. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the desk? From the floor? Roll call, please. Commander Member Yes. Commander Member McCauley. Yes. Commander Member Thompson. Yes. Mayor Delcor. Yes. Consideration number two is a resolution authorizing the employment extension of employment for Department of Public Works temporary workers, Dory Kinigopolo, Anthony Durso, and Michael Holodinsky until December 15, 2016, which is funded through the Clean Communities Grant. This resolution authorizes uh, and extends the aforementioned temporary help funded through our Clean Communities Grant. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Committee Member Shet? Yes. Committee Member McCauley? Yes. Committee Member Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. Consideration number three is a resolution determining the form and other details of not exceeding $1,000,000 $567,500 special assessment bonds series 2016 of the Township of Hillsborough and the County of Somerset, New Jersey, and providing for the sale, for their sale to the New Jersey Environmental Infrastructure Trust in the state of New Jersey pursuant to the New Jersey Environmental Infrastructure Trust financing program. As the sanitary sewer project reaches completion, the Township must adopt a resolution authorizing the sale of the bonds that will be used to finance the project through the low interest loans that the NJEIT Trust provides. The payments for these loans will be passed on only to those homeowners affected by the sewer project through a special assessment. It will not impact all uh, taxpayers in town. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call please. Commander Shep? Yes. Commander McCauley? Yes. Commander Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. Consideration number four is a resolution authorizing the execution and delivery of loan agreements to be executed by the Township of Hillsboro and each of the New Jersey Environmental Infrastructure Trust and the State of New Jersey, acting by and through the Department of Environmental Protection, and further authorizing the execution and delivery of an escrow agreement, all pursuant to the New Jersey Environmental Infrastructure Trust financing program. In addition to authorizing the sale of the bonds, the township must authorize the execution of the NJEIT loans once the bonds have been sold to finance the project. This resolution authorizes the mayor and the chief financial officer to execute these documents on behalf of the township. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Commander Member Shep? Yes. Commander McCauley? Yes. Commander Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. Consideration number five is a resolution authorizing the execution of an agreement with the Morris County Cooperative Pricing Council 
to renew membership for the period October 1, 2016 through September 30th of 2021. The Morris County Cooperating Pricing Council affords member municipalities substantial savings on various goods and services that are offered through cooperative public bidding. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Comments from Adeus? Comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Commander Burchett? Yes. Commander McCauley? Yes. Commander Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. Consideration number six is a resolution authorizing the execution of a contract with Essex Door and Glass LLC for the, inst for the installation of protective barrier for the finance department not to, its not to exceed $16,500. The township sought and received quotes for the aforementioned project. Essex Door and Glass provided the lowest responsive and responsible quote to the bid. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Any comments from the desk? Comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Commander Brichette? Yes. Commander McCauley? Yes. Commander Thompson? Yes. <coughs> Mayor Delcourt? Yes. Consideration number seven is a resolution authorizing the agreement with CNL Sweeper Service Corp for street sweeper services in a total amount not to exceed $11,250. There exists a need for sweet street sweeping services in the township, and quotes were sought and received. The lowest responsible and responsive bidder came from CNL Sweeping Service, Sweeper Service. We have a motion. So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Comments from the floor. Roll call, please. Commander Shep? Yes. Commander McCauley? Yes. Commander Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcourt? Yes. We'll now move on to our consent agenda. I have a motion to approve tonight's consent agenda. So moved. Second. I have a quick note on that. Uh, yeah, any comments from the Yeah, I just wanted to extend my congratulations to the permanent status to uh, Sergeant David Fisher, Sergeant Rick Evans, Sergeant Fred Wacker, and Sergeant John Carney this evening. Um, they've done outstanding jobs so far. I expect them to fully continue that role. And I uh, just wanted to say congratulations to them in their new positions. Yep, well deserved. Anything else from the Mayor, I'll just comment on number eight, which is a resolution supporting HRA 14. Congressman Lance is a sponsor of that, which makes the, um, the attempt to killing or the killing of any law enforcement officer, firefighter, or um, first responder a aggravating uh, during a death penalty proceeding. So I think that's a good piece of legislation. I'm glad we're doing that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else from the desk? Any comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Commander Burchette? Yes. Commander McCauley? Yes. Commander Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcourt? Yes. And can I have a motion to approve claims list 2016-17? So, second. Roll call, please. Commander Burchette? Yes. Commander McCauley? Yes. Commander Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcourt? Yes, uh, this concludes our regular meeting this evening. However, please note that our next township meeting, which would normally have been scheduled for Tuesday, October the 11th, will instead be held next Tuesday, October the 4th at 7.30 p.m. here in the courtroom uh, in, in order to avoid conflicts with, uh, with Jewish holidays. So can I have, uh, with that, can I have a motion to adjourn? So move, Mayor. Second. Third. All, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? We are adjourned. Good night.